Breaking news. The next Starship launch could be just weeks away, not months as previously expected. While NASA documents had pointed to January 2025, recent developments suggest we might see Flight 7 take off before the end of 2024. The pace of progress at SpaceX has been remarkable with the Federal Aviation Administration fast-tracking their approval process and the FCC already granting the necessary launch licenses. This is particularly exciting because Flight 7 builds on the successful elements of Flight 6, significantly streamlining the regulatory process. On December 4th, the FCC made a crucial update to SpaceX's launch license, opening a launch window from December 14th, 2024, all the way through June 2025. With SpaceX's hardware preparations moving at an unprecedented pace, including the completion of critical testing on Booster 14 and Ship 33, we could be witnessing history sooner than anyone anticipated. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, where we bring you the latest developments in space exploration and innovation. Let's dive right in. At the heart of SpaceX's rapid progress lies an untold story of human ingenuity and relentless determination. While the world watches launch dates and test results, a dedicated team of engineers works around the clock at both Boca Chica and McGregor, pushing the boundaries of what's possible in space exploration. The journey of Booster 14 represents one of the most ambitious engineering projects in human history. During October's cryogenic proof testing, engineers held their breath as liquid nitrogen, colder than the harshest winter night, coursed through the booster's veins. The massive structure creaked and groaned under the extreme conditions, but stood firm, a testament to thousands of hours of design refinements and the lessons learned from previous launches. One senior engineer later remarked that the successful test brought tears to his eyes, knowing how far they'd come since the early days of the program. The installation of the 33 Raptor engines on Booster 14 wasn't just another milestone. It was an orchestra of precision engineering. Each engine, a marvel of modern technology, generates thrust equivalent to 10 Formula One cars at full power. The installation process requires surgical precision, with teams working in perfect coordination. A slight misalignment of even a fraction of a millimeter could spell disaster during launch. The integration team developed an innovative new mounting system for Flight 7, incorporating insights from the previous flight's data. This breakthrough alone shaved days off the installation process while improving reliability. Ship 33's journey has been equally remarkable. After its return from McGregor, engineers discovered something unexpected during routine inspections, a minor anomaly that led to a major improvement in the thermal protection system. This discovery prompted a rapid redesign of several key components, making Ship 33 the most resilient Starship upper stage ever built. The six Raptor engines installed on Ship 33 incorporate cutting-edge modifications that improve their performance in both atmospheric and vacuum conditions. The most captivating aspect of Flight 7 involves the dramatic attempt to catch the super-heavy booster using Mechazilla. The launch tower's mechanical arms represent a revolutionary approach to rocket recovery that could transform the economics of space travel. The engineering team spent countless hours in simulation, practicing the catch procedure under every conceivable condition. They even developed a new artificial intelligence system that can predict and adjust for wind conditions in real time, increasing the chances of a successful catch. The story behind Makazila's development is particularly fascinating. The concept was initially met with skepticism. Many believed catching a massive rocket booster with mechanical arms was impossible. However, a small team of determined engineers worked nights and weekends, running thousands of simulations and building scale models to prove it could work. Their dedication paid off when early tests showed promising results, leading to the full-scale implementation we see today. The road to Flight 7 has been paved with both triumphs and setbacks. Each previous flight contributed crucial pieces to the puzzle. Flight 1's dramatic end in April 2023 initially seemed like a major setback, but the data gathered from that launch led to fundamental improvements in the vehicle's control systems. One engineer described the post-flight analysis as finding a gold mine of information hidden in the chaos. Flight 2's successful stage separation was celebrated as a major victory, 
even though the booster landing didn't go as planned, the team learned valuable lessons about the aerodynamics of separation, leading to modifications that improved stability during this critical phase. By Flight 3, these improvements culminated in the first controlled ocean landing of the upper stage, a moment that validated years of theoretical work. Flight 4 marked a turning point for the program when the Super Heavy booster achieved its first soft ocean landing. The precision required for this maneuver was extraordinary, like threading a needle while riding a motorcycle. The success came down to a last-minute software update that improved the booster's ability to compensate for upper atmospheric winds. Flight 5's attempted booster catch with Mechazilla, while not fully successful, provided invaluable data. High-speed cameras captured every moment of the attempt, allowing engineers to analyze the behavior of the grid fins and the booster's approach trajectory in unprecedented detail. This data led to significant refinements in the catch mechanism and approach procedures for Flight 7. Flight 6 demonstrated another crucial capability, the ability to relight a Raptor engine in space. This achievement required solving complex problems related to fuel management in zero gravity. The team developed an innovative propellant conditioning system that ensures reliable engine ignition in space, a critical requirement for future lunar and Mars missions. The preparation for Flight 7 has introduced several groundbreaking innovations. The team has implemented a new autonomous inspection system that uses robotics and machine learning to check thousands of components in a fraction of the time required for manual inspection. This system has already identified and prevented several potential issues that might have gone unnoticed using traditional methods. While Booster 14 and Ship 33 undergo final preparations, the construction of Ship 34 and Booster 15 continues at an unprecedented pace. The manufacturing team has implemented lessons learned from previous builds, introducing new automated welding techniques that improve both speed and reliability. These improvements have reduced construction time by nearly 30% while maintaining the highest standards of quality. The implications of Flight 7's technologies extend far beyond simple launch capabilities. Each successful milestone brings humanity closer to becoming a multi-planetary species. The ability to catch and rapidly reuse both stages of Starship is crucial for establishing the frequent, reliable launch capability needed for Mars missions. Engineers are already working on adaptations of these technologies for Mars landing systems. The recent FCC license update, extending through June 2025, reflects growing confidence in SpaceX's capabilities. This regulatory milestone wasn't achieved easily. It required demonstrating unprecedented levels of safety and reliability. The team worked tirelessly to provide detailed analysis and documentation, proving that each aspect of the launch plan meets or exceeds safety requirements. Running parallel to Starship's development, the Falcon 9 program continues to demonstrate the transformative power of reusability. The recent achievement of 400 successful launches, including a booster reaching its 15th flight, represents a revolution in space access. These successes provide valuable insights for scaling up reusability to Starship's massive proportions. The preparation for Flight 7 continues around the clock at Boca Chica. Teams work in shifts, monitoring every aspect of the vehicle's readiness. The anticipation builds with each passing day as engineers conduct final checks and verify systems. For many team members, this launch represents years of dedication finally coming to fruition. As one engineer put it, this isn't just another launch. It's the next step toward making humanity a spacefaring civilization. As we stand on the brink of another historic Starship launch, it's clear that SpaceX is revolutionizing space travel at an unprecedented pace. Flight 7 represents more than just another test. It's a crucial stepping stone toward making space travel routine, reliable, and ultimately making life multi-planetary. The potential December 2024 launch could mark a turning point in aerospace history, especially if the ambitious booster catch with Mechazilla proves successful. The rapid progress from Flight 1's dramatic ending to Flight 6's successful engine relight in space shows how far we've come. With each launch, SpaceX isn't just testing hardware. They're building humanity's bridge to the stars. As the teams at Boca Chica make their final preparations for Flight 7, they carry with them the hopes and dreams of space enthusiasts worldwide. What makes this moment particularly exciting 
is the possibility of witnessing two major achievements, the controlled ocean landing of the Starship upper stage and the attempted booster catch by Mechazilla. Success in either would significantly advance our journey toward fully reusable spacecraft. If you're as excited as we are about this upcoming launch and want to stay updated on all the latest developments in SpaceX and space exploration, make sure to subscribe to Elon Musk 24 Hours. Hit that like button if you found this information valuable and share this video with fellow space enthusiasts who should know about these exciting developments. Drop a comment below with your predictions for Flight 7. Will we see a successful booster catch? Your engagement helps our community grow and keeps you informed about future space milestones. Remember to turn on notifications so you don't miss our upcoming coverage of Flight 7. This is Elon Musk 24 Hours, bringing you tomorrow's space news today. The space race of 2024 has taken an unexpected turn. Blue Origin's massive New Glenn rocket, after years of development and anticipation, finally made its way to Launch Complex 36 in late November. It was a sight to behold, the colossal rocket standing proudly against the Florida sky, promising to revolutionize space travel. But something wasn't quite right. Within just five days, the giant rocket was lowered, then raised, then lowered again. No tests, no fire, no explanation. Just silence from Blue Origin as their most ambitious project yet seemed to be doing more of a dance than a launch preparation. Meanwhile, SpaceX's rockets continue breaking records and pushing boundaries. The installation of the BE-4 engine in late October had sparked hope. The second stage made its debut shortly after. The payload fairing was stacked, and by November 21st, New Glenn stood ready on Launch Complex 36, or so we thought. But as December arrived, the rocket's movements resembled a sophisticated elevator, more than a launch preparation, leaving industry experts puzzled and observers concerned. The stakes couldn't be higher. NASA's escapade Mars mission, Amazon's Kuiper satellites, crucial military contracts, and even the Artemis moon program. They're all counting on New Glenn's success. With each passing day of inactivity, these ambitious plans hang in the balance. Elon Musk couldn't resist commenting on the situation. On the very day New Glenn rolled out, he shared a throwback photo with Jeff Bezos, cryptically noting how time flies. A subtle jab at Blue Origin's pace of progress compared to SpaceX's rapid advancement. This isn't just about a rocket standing still. It's about the future of private space exploration, billion-dollar contracts,